Hey folks, this is the first shot of a new bike day. Uh, this is a Scott Genius 910. Uh, I think 160 mil um, uh, uh, front forks and 150 uh, at the back. Uh, literally brand new, uh, not ridden. I'm literally going out for my first ride on it now. Uh, you can see there's barely a speck of dirt on it. Um, really looking forward to this. Uh, this is going to be really, I think, quite substantially different to my 14-year-old uh, Trek Fuel EX8. Uh, you'll see here uh, it's got the uh, SRAM wireless uh, rear derailleur. Uh, it's got Scott's uh, lockout system, as you'll see there on the left-hand side. Uh, uh, the middle lever locks out the front and rear shocks. The top lever unlocks it, and the bottom is the uh, dropper post. Uh, the middle lockout actually has a dual-stage lockout. Uh, right now, it's fully open, so full suspension. Push it in a little bit, and you get uh, sort of a half lockout or partially locked out and then push it all the way down and it locks out the suspension completely. Uh, XT brakes all round, uh, front and back. Um, I can't remember what the sizes are uh, on the uh, on the brake discs, but as you can see, completely unused, uh, totally clean. Uh, also, uh, pardon the plane flying overhead. Um, really sleek at the back uh, I think it's set up as a tube setup right now um, uh, I think I might keep it tubed for a while uh, and then just see how how it goes and then maybe convert to tubeless uh, you'll see the rear shock uh, is completely uh, hidden uh, in the frame here which is just super awesome really nice clean look uh, this was a purchase from River City Bikes in Portland uh, did a great job uh, setting this up for me. Well, I, I hope so. I'm going to be out on in a couple of minutes. And uh, I'll just take it gently. Maybe just uh, some road riding right now. Just to bed in the brakes. Get a little bit comfortable with it before going out uh, off-road. But just out of the box, if you like. What a beautiful looking bike. So clean. I uh, love the colour. The, the light, yeah, she kind of picks it up pretty nice. It can the blend from the green to the black. And, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I'll uh, wrap this up now and talk later. Bye. Okay, just back. Just went for a 30-minute or so initial ride. More just to get a feel for the bike on road more than anything else. Uh, and just the bed in the brakes. So I've bedded in, I think, the rear brakes now. I'm maybe about halfway done uh, on the front brakes. But just initial impressions, so different. <laughs> so different. Um, the wireless, uh, the SRAM wireless uh, gear change system, it's going to take a little bit to get used to, but oh my gosh so great um, you can press here kind of up at the top uh, to change up at the bottom of the paddle to change down now you can also kind of flick uh, on the front uh, as well to also kind of change up and down just depending on where your, where your grip is um, brakes are still bedding in but I can tell they have a lot of bite uh, one of the problems on my uh, older bike uh, although it has I think two piston uh, hydraulic brakes. Um, they are early, you know, like 20, 2008. And they fade very, very quickly. Uh, and when I was chatting uh, to the guy in uh, River City Bicycles, he actually said, uh, that's a known problem. Oh, wait. I have a friend checking out the bike as well. Is it pulling over? That's kind of funny. Oh, I caught it though. That was good. Um, but anyway, massive difference at first impression. Um, definitely will take a little bit of time to get used to on the trail. I can sense. 
Uh, I might say initial impressions like this saddle may not be quite as comfortable as the WTB saddle that I had on my older bike. Again, it could just be different. Um, but uh, I'm dying to get it out on the trail. Uh, maybe this weekend. Hopefully the weather holds here in the Pacific Northwest. But yeah, all in all, uh, as I'd expect, a huge difference. And uh, I'll give some more impressions once I'm uh, out in the trail. And then uh, maybe once my friend here who is... Oh, here comes some more of them. Hey, dear. Yeah, you know, just hanging out in my front yard while two deer walk past. Not abnormal here. Uh, although I've never had them walk past while I've been in the front. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, I'll give it a shot this weekend and uh, I'll report out. Bye for now.